Welcome. Don't let my sultry and mysterious voice startle you. For hundreds, nay thousands, nay, nay, nay tens of thousands of years, people have come to me in search of what they desire most. Few find what they are looking for, even fewer ever leave. Welcome to the cave. That's me, the cave. Yes, yes, I'm a talking cave. Don't laugh. It makes dating hell. Besides, I have a really interesting story to tell you this evening, so pay attention. It's a story of seven people and a glimpse into a dark place in each of their hearts. But be careful before you judge. There is a dark place in your heart as well. Someday you will find yourself descending my depths in search of what you desire. And you might not like what you find either. But enough about you. This is about them. Ah, the monk. He seeks his... Moving along? Oh. I guess we're done. Ah, well, impatient, aren't we? Hm. The knight. He is on a quest for a sword of unequaled power and prestige. But will he find it before anyone else gets hurt? You break it, you buy it. Just saying. I don't think that bridge has been safety tested with more than two people. The hillbilly. On this fine night, he searches for his true love. But does desire burn too brightly in his heart? Ah, the Time Traveler. Okay, next on the list. Oh, the Adventurer. Yeah, well, slow down. Ah, the mo- Okay, next up. Ah, the Time Traveler. She is here to right a wrong a million years in the making. Fortunately for her, yesterday is a new day.
Oh, 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 I hope you're not here to visit the cave because we, we, we're closed. A gruesome and horrific accident has occurred and there's no way we can open. No way. I shudder to even describe to you what has transpired. For the nightmares will forever haunt your every thought. Well, if you insist. When I came in, we had no trinkets to sell in the gift shop. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there is a way I could reopen, allowing you fine adventurers to partake in the unique experience that only the cave has to offer. I just need three small trinkets to sell. Just three. Let me say that number again. Three. Take this giant novelty-sized key. It's cute, isn't it? Open the employee's back entrance. I'm sure you'll find some treasures worthy of the cave's gift shop. That would be a great trinket if I was running a hardware store, which I am not. is a funny little man, isn't he? I should probably fire him. I think he's dipping into the till.
Uh-uh. There's no dying in the cave. At least not this soon. So much left for them to learn. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Well, that's one trinket, a far cry from three trinkets. Ah, trinket numero two. Ah, the third glorious trinket. I have to say, you have surprised me. I figured you'd give up after one. Oh, right. Sorry. Well, that was a close one. It does bode well for our intrepid spelunkers that they navigated that maze of intrigue. I have high hopes for this group, much better than the last. I think they may still be down here. I should probably get them out. Nothing scares away the tourists like a rotting corpse. Some say chivalry is a trait that cannot be learned. It is a quality you are born with. 
That may or may not be true, but what is true is you can't steal it. It's a lesson our brave knight friend is about to learn, or a lesson we hope he is about to learn before anyone else gets hurt, or maimed, or killed, or eaten alive. Forget I said eaten alive. Spoilers! Commoner. 